Welcome everyone to this video. We're going to be talking about the fear of going into business for yourself. And I know from experience it can be pretty scary, right? Um, you may already have a product that you want to sell. You're already maybe making and producing products, but it scares you to think about going into business for yourself. And I can totally understand that. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. Um, but one of the reasons why it is very scary when you go into business for yourself is because um, you don't have clarity on what it is you want to do. So a lot of people um, may be making and selling a product, but when they start to really get involved in selling it and offering it to the public, um, things may change with that product. Um, so you may change the function, you may change the product, uh, to, you know, totally change the product. Um, it just all depends on how much knowledge you gain and to see if your product's going to sell and how much research you do to know if you do have a good product that would be um, needed and wanted um, and used. So it can be um, just a number of things that can cause you to have fear of starting your business. Um, and the other thing is because you, you don't have a clear path on what it is you want to offer, what it is you want to do, or how you want to go about doing it. If you want to have a brick and mortar place, or if you want to have a uh, online shop, um, or multiple online shops. So it just all depends on what it is um, you want to offer, and if you have a game plan for that. So. Um, you have to have some sort of um, plan, um, you know, not only a plan as your business plan or some sort of, um, you know, plan that how you will market, how you will promote your business, different things like that because um, you can't start a business and think that everything is going to be done for you once you have a great product, once you have a website or whatever. Um, and people are just going to come. Well, you may get some that will come, but there's also a lot more that goes into it. So um, you really want to have a great plan on what you want to accomplish in your business. So then the next thing, um, I can tell you a little bit about my experience. Like when I started my business, um, when I started my tailoring business that I had for 25 years, um, I was fearful too. I was, you know, afraid to start a business. Um, I knew that I had the skills and talent, but I didn't know if I would survive in business. I didn't know if I would be able to get clients, if I would be able to get customers, um, if my prices would be fair, if, um, you know, I was able to do, you know, a lot of these different things um, for my business. You know, I wasn't sure. Um, you know just putting myself out there I wasn't sure of that I didn't want you know the the whole thing that goes with it as a business owner I guess all the responsibilities there is um, you know so even if you're younger um, it's a lot to take on but um, once you have a game plan and you feel confident in the product that you're making and you are you know confident in that you can um, go a long way with a business um, but it does get scary at first. Um, it's really, um, you kind of had, have, if you're anything like me, I had mixed feelings. So I was, I was scared on one hand, and then on the other hand, I was excited to finally be able to do something with my trade, to be able to offer it to the public and to do something with it. So if you have a you know, service-based business or if you have a product-based business, whichever it is, um, you know, it could be, you know, a little of both for you too. Um, so yeah, but it can be awful scary. So the other thing you want to do is actually have some sort of a mentor or to have some uh, people around you that feel, um, you know, positive about what you want to do. You know, people that can help to uh, boost your mood, people who can help you to uh, learn new tools and techniques so you're able to start growing your business. Uh, so you want to have people around you that are, um, you know, all for what you're doing and uh, they will support you, you know, even if it's just emotionally or whatever. Um, so that's nice to have that support system. And then you also want to do some research. So you want to research on your product or service, whatever it is you're offering. Um, I help them, you know, 
product-based businesses or service-based businesses, it doesn't matter, but um, it's the same uh, type thing. Um, so you want to, um, you know, research your idea, find out who else is making your product, find out what they're selling it for, find out where they're promoting and marketing it, um, and things like this. So you can go on to do some of that. And then the next thing that you could do is to write on what you want to accomplish. So before you hire a coach or anything like that, you really want to know what you uh, need help with in your business. So if you could name three different things, the area of your business, what you need help with, it could help you with, um, it could help your mentor or your coach help to, um, you know, improve some of those certain areas that you are struggling with. So um, if you know that ahead of time, before you reach out to a mentor or you reach out to a coach, if you have three things written down that you really are confident that you really, really need help with, um, that can help them to be able to guide you um, and to know if they are a good fit for you and if they can truly help you or not uh, moving forward with your business. And then the next thing is to actually take some action. So even if you take some action with the things that I mentioned here today, or if you take action to actually reach out to someone, to book a call with someone, or to find a mentor that can help you, or even a group of people that can um, you know, help you uh, emotionally and help you to uh, see if your product or your idea is a good idea. Um, so either way, you can also probably check with your local area. A lot of times they have different business uh, organizations or groups in your area that you can uh, ask questions to and things like this. So they would be supportive of you as well. So that's really all that I have today. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, please, uh, you know, Put a comment below and let me know that you liked it so I can share more content like this. You can also subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will be uploading more videos all the time on this uh, channel so you will always be notified when a new uh, video comes out. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. I will also put the link to my um, my scheduling if you would like to schedule an appointment with me it's a free call you can just talk to me about your business goals and uh, what it is uh, if you have any questions uh, the majority of my calls uh, when I call talk with my clients uh, they really gain some valuable information on the first call so um, even if you have some questions and you just want to hop on a call and ask me a couple questions I'd be more than happy to be there for you and to answer those questions so thank you so much and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.